When did it happen? It happened at about 10 o'clock last night. Pobrecito Hugh. Ahora bien, cuando alguien conocido está en el hospital, es muy importante poder llamar para hablar con los médicos y las enfermeras. Fíjate en las preguntas que hace Claire por teléfono. Could you tell me? Could I speak to? Could you tell me which ward Hugh Hinton is in, please? Could I speak to him? Después, Claire preguntó el horario de visitas. Visiting hours. Watch carefully. When can she visit Hugh in hospital? When are your visiting hours? You can visit Mr. Hinton between 2 o'clock and 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Between 2 o'clock and 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Entre las 2 y las 5 de la tarde. Y ahora... Veamos de nuevo el episodio. Presta atención al final. ¿Es el estado de Hugh realmente serio? Hello, is that the General Hospital? Could you tell me which ward Hugh Hinton is in, please? Could I speak to him? Thank you. Hello, Princess Ward. Could I speak to Hugh Hinton, please? I'm sorry. Mr. Hinton is with the doctor at the moment. With the doctor? Is he all right? He's okay. Is it serious? The doctor will tell us if it's serious. When are your visiting hours? You can visit Mr. Hinton between two o'clock and five o'clock in the afternoon. Thank you. Hi, Claire. How about a cup of coffee? What's the matter? Have you heard about Hugh? No. What's happened? He's had a car accident. Is he all right? He's broken his leg. Oh, no. When did it happen? It happened at about 10 o'clock last night. How did it happen? I don't know. Is he at home? No, he's in hospital in Watford. What about visiting him? I haven't visited him yet. I'm visiting him this afternoon. When will he leave hospital? I don't know. The doctor is with him now. Hello. I'm Claire Hinton. I'd like to visit Hugh Hinton. Ah, oh, yes. He's very tired. He's in the bed on the left. Thank you. Hugh! 
you, how dreadful! Oh! Excuse me, Mrs. Hinton. This is not Mr. Hinton. I don't understand. That is Mr. Hinton. de hombre. Parece que Hugh no está tan mal como creía Claire. No, pero me temo que tendremos que esperar hasta el próximo programa para averiguar qué le ha sucedido exactamente. Have you heard about John? He was in a car accident. How terrible. How dreadful. Is it serious? Is he all right? Yes, he's all right. Y se nos acabó el tiempo. Pero hoy hemos aprendido expresiones muy útiles. Además de aprender a decir qué ha pasado, sabrás pedir y da dar información sobre un accidente. Y sabrás qué decir cuando hables con el hospital para pedir información sobre el estado de salud de un enfermo. Después del programa, ¿por qué no practicas diciendo oraciones sobre cosas que hayan sucedido a personas que conoces? Imagínate varias conversaciones que empiecen con... Have you heard about Michael, Maria, or Julia? Y no solo imagines las conversaciones. Say them out loud and in English. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you soon.